Welcome everyone to Pasadena, California and the Rose Bowl in the shadow of the San Gabriel Mountains, Arroyo Seco, also home to the UCLA Bruins, and it just doesn't get much better than this. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off of bye week, the USC Trojans. Taking on the fifth ranked team in the land, the UCLA Bruins. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Trojans will kick it off to get us underway. from inside his own five. And the ball is loose on the return. Well, that could have been disastrous. Able to recover it and retain possession on the opening kickoff. Ooh, that, that's a breathing a sigh of relief for sure. Kick returner tries to take it out, puts it on the ground, but how about the offense? Getting back on it, turning a what could have been a really bad play into, thank goodness I got the ball. This offense starts deep in a hole. Running to the left. Got the first down and more. And it is a chunk play. A huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Historically, the Trojans have been the powerhouse in this rivalry, but last season it was UCLA in a blowout. And that is not something USC is accustomed to. They want to own this rivalry. They think they own UCLA. They will have some extra fire behind them today. Yeah, and that UCLA blowout last year really helped the Bruins in recruiting, too. Remember, these two schools, they recruit the same kids here in Los Angeles, in the state of California, and nationally as well. It would be massive if UCLA could beat USC again and make it back-to-back. -back. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. On third down, he drops the throw. Finds his target down the middle. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. Got his man! And Chuck plays on the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Right, how about this uh, offense? You, you think of this offense, you think of throwing the football and top ten passing in all of college football, but the defense knew something, right? Like, you could tell they were going to come out and run the football. They brought out the goal line, brought in some big boys, and really was ready for the run on that play. Last play didn't go well. It leaves him with second and 11. Looking downfield, it's Garbers. They're trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. This crosstown rivalry dates back nearly 100 years, guys. The first meeting between the Trojans and the Bruins back in 1929. Yeah, and every year since, you know, one thing you know, Jesse, is the uniforms are crisp. They are clean. They are so sweet. You know this game means a lot late in the season every year. This is definitely my favorite uniform game of the year every year in college football, right? Both USC and UCLA with the home unis here in this great environment. But the game... And once he got loose, it was all over. Ready to try the point after. 
And the PAT makes it 7 0. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. USC, zero. And he muffs it. It's loose. He'll start the return inside his 25. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. snap before the play clock ran out. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Looking for a productive play on first down. Hold and fire complete. And they're able to get him on the ground. The Trojans want to move quickly. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, you can run away from those linebackers or safeties. It has been a season to forget, and honesty compels us to say changes are probably coming. I'm not sure, but I think Reese Davis just fired a coach. Is, is that what I heard? I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Listen. Hasn't gone well. You've heard the outside noise continuing to get louder and louder. Haven't met expectations. And this is the business we live in. In college sports, when you get paid a lot of money to do a job and you don't perform. Listen, at the end of the day in college football, it's results-oriented. They've lost football games this year. And so all signs right now pointing to them potentially making that change before next season. They're going to stay competitive and they're going to field the best team and program possible heading into next year that it looks as though a change is inevitable here. And the Trojans have their offense in high gear. Looking to throw, it's Moss. Got his man on the right. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Quick tempo here for the offense. On second down, they'll take to the air. They'll run the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Grab behind the line. It's Robinson. He's off to the races. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, USC! What a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. And they tacked on the extra point. They go 83 yards on the drive. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. UCLA will go back to work on offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, man. I mean, that was a master class of just reading coverage and being accurate. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. to throw. It's Garbers. Fires to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. 
The Victory Bell is not some manufactured, concocted trophy, guys. This thing actually used to be on a train. That is so cool. And the origins of the story of all these rivalries and the trophies, Jesse, it's so cool. It's fun to find out about. And these guys out here are learning on the job about it. Yeah, it's just really such a point of pride, the Victory Bell. Not just here in the city of Los Angeles, but to these kids, there's just a different energy in this game. It's caught along the sidelines, but he's out of bounds. Would have had the first down if he could have stayed in the field of play. Man, he was just out of bounds on that third down, and the quarterback, I thought, could have put a little less zip on it and kept him away from the sidelines a little bit more, and then maybe he could have got... Down, ...but fourth down, decision time. Might have to give that coach a flag and a whistle. He was right on in his view of the play, and the officials agree and overturn the call. The Bruins will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Finds his tight end. Barishnikov should be so sweet. All down at the 39-yard line, but he's got 15 yards on the play and a fresh set of downs. Really nice throw there. I tell you, UCLA, they've got an impressive history book of quarterbacks. Going all the way back to Rick Neuheisel, Troy Aikman is a name people will recognize, Cade McNown back in my day, and then recently DTR was carving up defenses too, throwing it. Got to be able to make good decisions. Got to be able to deliver strikes through the air, and this guy right now is doing just that. And the freshman does a great job using his technique in getting the man on the ground. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the move, it's Garber. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. And screens are all about timing, right? You want to invite the defensive line to fly up the field, and then you want to throw it right over their head. And you could tell just a little bit off, and the defense got in there so quick, got the quarterback hit before he could really get his bearings and throw the screen. Quarterback will audible. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And as he throws, and that's going to be knocked away and incomplete as time has expired here in the first quarter. On fourth and nine, the offense will stay on the field. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got him, and they convert. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The metrics tell you so often, go ahead, go for it on fourth down, and it pays off there. And that just shows you the head coach's confidence in his quarterback to go out on a critical fourth down and execute. Trust that arm out. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pick up there. And the Bruins come to the line in the hurry up. They'll go to the ground. He showed it all there. A little looseness, a little power, and he's got the first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Defense couldn't quite hold its water, and it'll be five free yards for the O. And at this point on the field, I mean, I guess why not try to guess the snap count? Defense gets caught, still first and goal. Go straight ahead. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes and nowhere to run. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Back to throw, it's Garbers. 
He just throws it away, and I think the flag's going to be coming in. There it is. The defense trying to make a stand on third and goal. He's looking downfield to throw. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And they're able to get him down, but not before he gets to the two. This defense trying to stand tall on fourth and goal from the two. Quarterback checking off. They'll go to the air. Trying to get to it. Takes a shot as he throws, and it never had a chance. Incomplete. That is a great job by this defense coming up big on fourth down when it matters the most. You could tell they were dialed in. They knew they were going to throw the football. The defense was locked in on the quarterback. Great job defending the pass, forcing the incompletion on fourth down. Fires it incomplete. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication. And it can really rattle an offense. Looking for space. It's O'Neal. Very useful run there to get away from the goal line. He'll pick up four out to the six. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got a man, it's O'Neal. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. I like the running back there on the route, the patience he showed, really setting it up. Got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn up field to the first. The Trojans have it with a first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down in the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Corner showing press. They want to be physical here. It's caught downfield. Smashes ahead. He was on his way. He could smell it. He gets it inside the 10. They stop him at the 9. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. And the Trojans have it with a first and goal. Caught behind the line. It's Branch. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Southern Cal. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. A really disappointing end of that last drive, David. Getting stopped on fourth and goal, they'll try to regroup. Yeah, and I think I'm preaching to my squad right now. Listen. He's got it on the right. Oh, look out. There he goes. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, UCLA. 
and he tacked on the extra point. That one's going to get a little star, Mark decided on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown, just like that. Great starting point, takes it inside his own 25. They get him corralled, but not before he gets that return out to the 35. This drive comes from the 35-yard line. They go to the ground. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Swings it out to his running back. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They'll try to run for it. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first end on that one. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. He's going to pass. Makes the grab on the left. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. To the air. It's Moss. Pulls it in. Just what they were looking for. And he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. They'll throw it on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Robinson. Obliterates him. Still on the move. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn that field, and you saw that right there. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They'll use a timeout right before halftime, maybe time for one or two more plays. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Looking to throw for it. Got out of trouble and throws. Tight end finds a soft spot. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Timeout, USC. One more play before the teams head to the locker rooms. The quarterback keeps it on the sneak. And the defense able to get him down, and that should bring us to the end of the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. The Bruins will kick it away first, and we'll start the second half. Takes it inside the 25, and he'll bring it back. He'll be stopped, but good work there to get the ball after the 37. And guys, USC has 
the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of... And he intercepts it. Looking for more room. Touchdown, Bruins. What a great play by the defense of paying it off with the interception return. And the free safety roaming the middle of the field. You can see just reading the quarterback's eyes. And how about the break on the football? Taking a great angle to pick it off and then do some damage and make the big play for this defense to score some points. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. Oh, look out. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time, they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. They're going to go right back to him on first down. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Back to throw, it's Moss. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Well, that looked like it was going to be a completion, but how about the defender making the hit and forcing the incompletion? Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Grab near the marker. It's Branch. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Trojans! Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyway. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Lowers that shoulder, delivers the blow. He gets a block. What a great return, and he flips the field to start this drive off, and he just about scored himself. It is so good to have a dangerous return, man. UCLA will go back to work on offense. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. And the Bruins headed quickly to the line. Off the play fake. Moves away as he feels pressure. He's going to run it. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. QB's got to be able to play on so many different levels. they got to read coverages, know the snap count, know what everybody's doing, and then does a great job at the end making something out of nothing, making a positive play, picking up a new set of downs, a new set of problems for this defense. Here we go. They'll leave it with him. Shakes off the tackle. And it's on the ground. A defense scoops it up, and they're bringing it back. 
Offensive players, when they got the ball in their hand, they're trying to make plays, right? Trying to make you miss. There's nothing better than closing that gap and sticking that head right in that guy's chest and causing a fumble. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got him cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. Let's see what they've got on second down. Through the air, it's Moss. He's got the back in the middle. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Doesn't SC always seem to have a quarterback right out of central casting and one that'll pick up a first down for you with his arm? Yeah, and, and it doesn't matter the year. It just doesn't matter the number. It continues to churn out. They find those guys. Just such an easy place to recruit when you got that kind of pedigree. You always find superstars at the quarterbacks. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Comes out throwing on first down. That's reeled in. It's Hudson. At the 35, he's open. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Quick strike complete. Boy, that was a precision play all the way around. Throw, catch, tackle, bang, bang, bang. Operating in the red zone here on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he earns a first down, and boy, did he earn it after taking that lift. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. The Trojans have it in scoring position on first and goal. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Looking for the score! And it's incomplete as he was trying to finish the drive with the score. Well, that last incompletion is a good example of why your timing has to be so good as a quarterback because the windows, they open and they close so quickly in this part of the field. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Looking for a man. It's Moss. He's got his man. Touchdown, Trojans! And that one will put him up here in the second half. And with that latest touchdown, he's looking to etch his name alongside the Trojan Immortals at quarterback. Yeah, and there's so many stars that have played quarterback at USC that when they get the ball and they do their damage, guess what? They win big-time trophies. And this guy, you have days like this, week in and week out, you will be recognized as the best player in college football. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The UCLA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. Ball security going to be paramount this time, Jesse. Yeah, and, and sense of urgency, too. They're trailing in this game right now. The turnover wasn't great. So, David, they really got to be able to put something positive together on this drive. Put something positive together. Be aggressive, but don't be reckless. Can't have any more of those turnovers. Throws to the tight end. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. Here we go. Time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. 
Now the quarterback changing the original play call. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Fires into traffic, intercepted. And he's brought down, but this interception, a huge play to end this quarter. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And, heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Got it behind the line. It's Hudson. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Everything went right on that play, except the receiver going out of bounds. It's late in the fourth. You've got the lead. You're just trying to bleed the clock as much as possible. Just got to have better awareness on the field. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Out of the gun, the give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in the second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in the block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. Touch pass on the run. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, USC! And they take it in for six more points. They put another score on the board as they try to push this winning streak to three. USC stretches out that lead and not too far in the distance. They're starting to imagine the tones of the victory bell. And USC has so much tradition, so much history, but they start every season. Jesse, they want this one. They want to make sure they beat their rival in L.A. Yeah, you could tell, too, talking to them before this game, they knew how important it was going to be to play well in the second half. They had to have energy. They had to execute. And right now, they're getting ready to chant, fight on at the end of this game. UCLA will go back to work on offense. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field and score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I had played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks. that just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more should have ran a better route. And in this situation late when you need two touchdowns to win the game, everything's going to have to be downfield. So I like the idea in this two-minute drive, throwing it that way. Let's keep it going, keep our pedal to the metal here. The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and the ball is out. Who's going to get it? Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. Those are hard for offensive linemen when they get beat and you're going, no, look out for your blind side. Watch out. But they had a great job rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground, and getting the football out. A little extra bonus. Nice job by the defense getting nasty. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. The ball squirts free. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And this is one of those where you go, oof, you, you start to breathe a little deeper on the sidelines. You felt really, really comfortable having the big lead to plus two possessions in the fourth quarter. But now, you gave the ball back. You put yourself in a position where you're going to have to earn it a little bit more now. 
Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. To the air, it's Garbers. Looking to the big tight end. Pulls it in. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have? A shot toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, UCLA. Before that score, considering last rights, now all of a sudden, they're not dead yet. In fact, they're feeling much better, and they're alive, and they've got a chance. And I'm looking on the field right now. I'm looking at their sideline. They're energized, Reese. After that last score, all of a sudden, they believe they can come back and win this game. This is a totally different-looking team than what we saw. He's in there for the two-point conversion, and now they're just down six. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, and so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've got to get something going. Yeah, those turnovers can be contagious, man. It gets you excited, and then when your offense takes it down the field and does something with it, this offense better be ready to play against a motivated defense. A nice way to go into the postseason and eventually the offseason with a W, but the question is, will it be enough to keep the Wolves at bay? It's a great way to punctuate the season. You just have to wonder, though, if there were too many L's on the schedule to keep this guy around. Yeah, I mean, it's the whole body of work, right? You finish strong, but what does everybody look at? Like, how many games do you win? Who do you beat is important, right? Do you beat your rivals? Like, there's so much more. Do you have the team's ears still? So there's a lot that goes into decision-making, but it was definitely a disappointing season. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. On the run. It's Moss. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football maybe, take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. Now, this is rolling the dice, or perhaps they've gone outside their head. They're already up. Boy, this could really backfire if they don't convert on fourth down. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. The quarterback just lost track of the play clock, didn't get the snap off quickly enough. And the Trojans will line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. The give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence that this offense is going to make a play. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Pressure coming. He uncorked. 
The receiver was doubled, and they picked it off. Taking it the other way. The 40. Inside the 30. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And they were most fortunate to catch up to him there. He almost turned that into a pick six. Man, and he had a convoy, too. As soon as he had the ball, he just looked around him. There was just a lot of open green, and he took off. Great job by his teammates on defense getting downfield and setting up some blocks. And, guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Okay, Jesse, this is a little bit of a tight spot. You'd love to be aggressive enough to get the first down, but you've got to take care of the ball first. No doubt. I was going to say, ball security is at a premium. You cannot turn the football over at this point. The defense has three timeouts left, David, so probably conservative play calling here. You're expecting them to try to run to ice this game. Conservative, I know they're going to be aggressive, but I also know that one first down ends this football game. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Wide out in motion. Little touch pass to the receiver. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew by the speed of this wide receiver in different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. And guys, they really need to take advantage of this field position on third and long. Back to throw, it's Moss. Gets it out fast. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Cal! They built a comfortable lead in trying to hang on for a Week 13 victory. That is exactly what you want your offense to do. You want it to eat clock, but if you score, go up by two possessions, nail the coffin. Great execution by this offense to put this game away. And these decisions to go for two, you see more and more of it throughout a game chasing points. And then in the end, you wonder if this just comes back to bite you. Fair catch called for and made. LA offense is back on the field, ready to go to work. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback. And that is interception number three on the day. Got room on the return. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great...